I know this sounds stupid, but this is a tutorial on the GSF tutorial. Um, before we go in, you might want to set up your strafe because basically the tutorial is a good place to do a little bit of strafing to better understand how it works. Um, if you like the cool countdown numbers, everybody likes those. You go down to here under user interface and normally that is not selected so it doesn't give you the cooldown text which is the numbers. You select that and press apply and that'll give you your numbers whammo bango. Uh, to set up strafe you go to starfighter key bindings, go to movement and go to where your strafe up, strafe down, strafe right, and strafe left. You can set these to anything you want. I have mine set to the normal WSDA keys um, that we normally use to fly with. The only thing I add for the strafe in the different directions is the shift. So shift W, shift S, shift D, shift A. Um, it's probably a good idea to stick with the same keys for like the rest of the time you're flying so you don't screw up like I do when uh, because I changed my key settings because I used to use the arrow keys but my hands crossed so um, somebody recommended this way he's a pretty good pilot too so I would go by what he says which is set it up this way um, Next to go in the tutorial, you open up your GSF page, go next to the chevron to the question mark. That'll take you to the tutorial. This is something to do like when there's no matches going or death. And you want to get a little bit better with like strafing. Um, it's structured in here, but you can mess around a lot. But there's only so many drones that you can kill. So it stops you every so often. And a lot of the stuff you already know. Boom, I killed one. Alright, my next target is going to be there. If you want to strafe, you can come back around to the other side and set up so you can strafe it. This is how people kind of uh, sneak around things and they look like they're shooting from behind things. This is how they do it. So, right now I'm shifting W. And then shifting S. You kind of do it quickly, though, in a GS, and it looks like they never move out of the way of the girder that's in the way. Alright, there's one there. Go on the other side of this rock. I am not an ace by any means, but you can't get better without practicing. So there's my target. It's within range of my laser, so that's a good idea. Or whatever weapon I'm using. And we can shift up. And then shift back down before you're shot again. I know it sounds stupid, but you can get a little bit better by doing it on any kind of ship, because strafing is the same on anything. See right there, it's out of range of my... 
missile. But I can actually shoot. I forgot the range is longer on those. <laughs> But uh, yeah, there it is there, so I can go up, I'm still out of range, holy crap. I tell ya. Well, it's within the range now, for sure. And then go back to your spot. Now, in here, you bounce off the rocks, so it doesn't really matter. You won't kill yourself, but in a game, you will kill yourself if you run into rocks. So you got to be careful of that because you can strafe into rocks. And I'll just kill this one. You get the idea. And I'll go to my satellite to finish the game. Because I killed everything. I killed all the drones. Up oh, here goes the intermission. I hate that shit. Alright, let's finish this game. But yeah, do that <clears throat> over and over. I should talk. I don't really do it that often myself, but I might. Because there's less and less games, it seems. Less and less pops. So this will give you something to do and get better at GSF. Seems simple enough, eh? Yeah, this is like a real game. You can't wait for it to be over. Well, I hope this was uh, somewhat entertaining. Yikes.